Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with the brand new video and today we're going over the one of the most commonly, if not the most commonly asked question that I get on almost a daily basis and that is what niche you should be in, what niche sells the best, what's the most popular, all that stuff we're going over in today's video. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so this is sort of my opinion on what I found to work the best, what I personally sort of have, have used and have been in. Um, obviously there's probably, there's tons of niches out there. Every niche actually makes money. I wanna put that out there. Uh, a niche wouldn't be around if it doesn't make money. However, some niches uh, are evergreen or they're more likely to make money or they are larger and have more money in them than, than others. So that's what we're going over today's in today's video and that is the top niches of 2018. So the first one that, uh, that I can kind of think of is movies and TV, um, but more specifically, probably Netflix, okay? And the reason being is, I'm sure you guys have those friends that like binge watch Netflix for an entire week, right? Or they watch an entire show in a day. Uh, I'm not personally that kind of person. I was never really into TV. Um, I don't really know why you would wanna do that, but um, yeah, but a bunch of people are into that. So how can we actually take advantage of those people that, that wanna watch TV and are obviously super, uh, integrated into it because obviously the writers are doing a pretty good job if they can keep somebody watching like on their bed watching the same TV show for like 24 hours straight. So um, what I usually like to do for something like this is identify um, maybe like the top top like five um, shows and uh, you, you might wanna go for, for the top one, uh, say like a Stranger Things or Game of Thrones, like that's cool. I've definitely done that before. Or you could go for maybe like round, the, the third to fifth most popular because those are gonna have less competition but also be like insanely popular. So you might have a better chance being able to break into those. Uh, you could try both, you know, whatever. But uh, identify the top TV shows and make t-shirts around them, okay? So uh, I've sort of talked about this in the identifying trends video that we did a little bit ago. Um, but uh, essentially, if you, if you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch it because I talked about it. Um, but you're gonna make t-shirts around them and then market it. Um, so best marketing I would say would be Facebook because it's hyper-targeted. You can also look at uh, Reddit because um, there's tons of subreddits for like Stranger Things and stuff like that. Or even like other types of forums. Um, you can maybe get some posts in um, Facebook groups. Like there's all the, like the possibilities are pretty much endless for uh, this kind of thing. Um, so I just want to show you some examples real quick of, of sort of what it would look like if we we're doing like say a Stranger Things type of shirt. So something like this um, would be something that you would want to go for. I've never really seen the show, so I don't really understand the reference at all. Um, so obviously you'd want to to do some research if you haven't seen the show, um, or, or else you'll just look like an idiot. Um, but yeah, so something like this, because there's no copywriting, um, Hawkins, I, I think is the school they go to, or I guess the town. Um, but but yeah, so there's, there's no copyright involved, so you're pretty much good to go. Whereas something like this, this is like the movie poster for, for the show. So you wouldn't wanna go for something like that, or something that has their logo. Um, you know, obviously anything that's trademarked, you can't use. Um, I actually got in trouble, not because I used a trademarked uh, thing, but I, I used a logo that I sort of modified, which, which shouldn't have been a big deal. It should have been protected under, under parity law. Um, but essentially the NFL shut me down because uh, they thought it was like too similar to a certain logo. So, um, so yeah, you just gotta be very careful about what you do um, for that. So the next niche that I think is going to be hot and has been hot for a long time is fitness. Okay, so this has been around forever uh, and it will continue to be around forever because there's so many different sub niches within it. So you got like uh, weight loss, you got CrossFit, you got, um, you know, bodybuilding, you know, like the, there's so much stuff that goes into the fitness or you could even go into the healthy eating, like the veganism, like all that kind of stuff is under the, the sort of like health and fitness niche. And there's so many pages on Instagram um, so, so marketing would, uh, start with Instagram. Okay. The only problem with this is that it's pretty expensive, um, because there's so many like personal trainers out there that want to market their stuff. So the price for shout outs on these, uh, these, what are they called? Uh, fitness pages is kind of expensive. 
Um, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it as the first niche to jump in if you're brand new, if you're a beginner, because it's, there's a lot of sharks out there. Um, but if, if you want a challenge, if you want to jump in, go for it. Uh, start with IG and then uh, go for Facebook after that. Um, definitely go for products that sort of solve a problem. Um, so sell problem solving products. Okay, so that, that, that would be things like, uh, for example, this which is a muscle stimulator. Apparently you put it on your abs and it like uh, stimulates your abs without you having to do like uh, sit-ups and all that kind of stuff. Don't know if it works, but there's tons of videos online of people using this. So obviously it's a product that solves a problem. So this kind of thing does really well, as you can see, 35,000 orders. So, uh, you know, something like that might be something that you want to look into, or, uh, you know, maybe this, this might be sold out by now. I don't know, but um, yeah, so something similar to, to this, right? Okay, so the next one is let's do health and beauty. Okay, so this one kind of overlaps, but um, I think it's I think it's different because you can sell things like makeup, um, cosmetics, skincare, um, like just different random devices. Uh, I guess gadgets. I, I don't know random devices like that little um, spiral ear cleaner thing or um, like acne cream, stuff like that um, is, is really hot because people are always trying to make themselves look better uh, than they do and that's just a fact. So people are not gonna stop wanting to do that in 2018. If anything, they're gonna wanna do it more. So we can take advantage of that by maybe selling something like this, which is a blackhead purifying mask. It's like this, this black mask that you put on your face and apparently it like removes blackheads. Again, I don't know if it works, so you probably have to look into it, but it has 16,000 orders on it, and I've seen it like all over Instagram, so uh, it might be worth a shot trying to, to look into uh, promoting something like this. So again, start with uh, Instagram and then move over to Facebook, especially because these are more on the generic side, but there's tons of like beauty influencers, beauty vloggers, maybe even YouTube would be a good route to go as well. Um, you know, but the, the possibilities are endless with the health and beauty niche. So definitely look into that if you're, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, the fourth one would be babies. Okay. Um, and it's kind of a random niche cause I, when I first started drop shipping, it wasn't like a thing that I really thought about, uh, the babies would be a big niche, but it actually really is because, uh, people will never stop having babies. Right. So there's always like tons of. Uh, there's always lots of people having babies. So because of that, there's always going to be a need for baby cl baby clothes, baby gear, baby uh, you know outfits, baby car seats, like all kinds of stuff that you can go ahead and do. And what I found with this niche is to find very sort of sub niche specific uh, products, something like say this, which is a baby outfit, but it's also a Batman costume at the same time. So especially on Facebook, this works well because you can target people that like Batman, but also have recently had a baby and it's just like hyper targeted for this product. Um, so if that's something you're into, definitely try selling something that's not generic, but something that's more, more hyper targeted. Or if you want to go more generic, definitely go for a problem solving product, something that would make the parent's life easier because uh, parents have no issue spending money if it's going to make their life a little bit easier and they're not going to have to wake up at like two in the morning every day because their, their baby's crying or something like that. So if you can find a product that helps with that situation, then, you know, great. But uh, yeah, so that, that would be my advice there. Um, and the last one would be yoga and more specifically um, this thing called athleisure, um, which I think has become a term within the past like year, maybe a little bit longer, not sure. But it's basically uh, like, I'm, I'm sure you see it, like girls love yoga pants, right? They're always buying yoga pants and they used to just be like the black ones, but now they're sort of getting into the, the, the more designer yoga pants. Like I saw these LED light up yoga pants the other day, which was uh, crazy. Um, they're they're kind of cool actually. But uh, with yoga, you can actually get more specific with things like hot yoga. Um, I, I mean, when, when I say this, I'm talking uh, like Facebook targeting. So hot yoga, yoga pants, um, you can uh, target like different yoga influencers, um, which there's tons of on Instagram. So you can just take a look at and, and see if you can find any. Um, but there's all kinds of different stuff that you can do with the yoga niche. So uh, something that I found, um, I just typed in athleisure on AliExpress and I found 
these yoga pants, which have been very popular for the past uh, few months or so. But they're like these designer, like kind of cool design looking yoga pants. Um, you know, they used to be like this or whatever, but now they have these hearts. I think these heart ones are super popular um, for some reason. Um, or like these crazy design, whatever. But uh, but yeah, so just do some research, see if you can find anything cool. But uh, yeah, so these sort of yoga pants are definitely starting to become more in style, especially with the personal trainers and everybody like, you know, posting pictures on Instagram with them and these cool yoga pants. And, and it's all about looking like pretty cool. So anyways, these are my top five niches for 2018. So we got Netflix shows, we got uh, fitness, health and beauty, babies, and yoga and athleisure. So guys, hopefully this was a comprehensive video for you guys and you guys can actually go ahead and take action on it. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it, but you're not really subscribed until you hit that notification bell as well. So go ahead and hit that notification bell. I'm filming this one in advance, so thus the same shirt as I had the last video. Um, but we are almost at 2,000 subscribers, guys, so definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Love helping you guys out. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. I need you in the morning. Ooh.